Hello, what's happening everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing Wednesday. Very happy to be here for another show. I'm going to get clicked into our mission here and then we'll get all caught up everywhere here in chat and your wonderful support. Do a quick review and then uh, we'll head into the second part of this final mission. Honestly, I'm not sure if we're... Um, Gonna be able to complete this mission today, but we'll get caught up here in just a sec. What's up, Marluxier? Good to see ya. A Boda Tim in a Lauda. Hey there, Bokari. And all the other cool early people before we begin here in a Lauda. Thanks for 25 months. A Boda Tim. Thanks for an awesome 80. And Tharson, enjoy your lurk. Yo, Marluxier. Thanks for 63 as well. Interesting. My event list is not populating properly. We'll keep an eye on that. Okay, so uh, here we are. We're playing as Bigly. We also have uh, Nymander Breeze and Everthink on the team. Uh, Bigly basically has been living his whole life as an indebted, doing contracts. He's also a wielder, so he's been like a mercenary captain for hire for his uh, for his whole life. He finally got to the point where he's going to pay off his debt. He took his final contract. And of course, things went awry. And we've ended up here with everybody mad and a lot of people extremely dead. Uh, this is the final part of the fourth mission. Uh, and we're mostly facing off versus the Rana. Uh, we started in this position here, which is pretty well uh, fleshed out now. Um, Nymander Breeze collected a small army. He's going to go help fight the Rana. Uh, we do have some kind of base down here, which I don't understand how to get to yet. Probably through here. Anywho, uh, we're going to walk Nymander Breeze over here and then head north. I was thinking about this campaign on our uh, day off, and uh, what I was thinking is we just collected this very nice uh, human army. I don't know, maybe they do come from down here. I'm a little bit tempted to leave this and check out north with Big Lee. So I was thinking, uh, also, yesterday we unlocked this portion so we can go up uh, back through here. I don't know, I was going to make a quick save, and then we'll go from there. I'm a little worried around uh, round 20 that some Rana is going to appear out of here and uh, mess us up. But for the moment, let's uh, let's keep it cool. In fact, you know what? Let's have everything go back to the main base, and we'll go there. Okay, Bigley's army right now is pretty all right. There's nothing wrong with it. No troop slot available, eh? Only six there. Yeah, my general problem with Nymander here is I don't have any anything to do on this side of the map, and he's holding units. Okay, we'll have him grab a few things on the way out, and that'll be that. Big Lee is going to clear this combat. And did I pass gear to ever think? I did. Nice. Alright, I think I'm all caught up. So I think this map is going to be in three parts. There's our area down here. There is the uh, desert area up here. And there's swamp area over here. We were also attacked by the Barony of Loth from this road. So there may be more threats coming from that location. Okay, first thing Bigly wants to do. I think we want to take on this. Also, what, what is at this? Just burrowers, eh? All right, no rush to get this. Let's have Big Lee check up the road just a little bit. Okay, this is not what I was expecting, but fair. Good, Opnul. All contracts regarding the Barony of Loth are terminated. Contracts offered for the liberation of three lakes. Okay.
Comfort's Way. Alright, I mean, Big Lee can kill this dragon and claim the claim this tower. So what's back here? My plans uh, went a little sideways here. I'm going to grab this on my way out. It's definitely not bad. Going to get everything to this movement obelisk. This is a permanent plus one movement. Uh, I also think I'm going to have uh, everything go back here to the main town. Mm, once we activate this tower, we're going to be able to teleport between our towers. So here, here, and there's going to be one back here somewhere. Maybe. Is this it? No, that's an order spire. Huh. Well, at the very least, let's claim this settlement. That's more money for us. Alright. What we got here? Workshop. Making tinkers. I don't actually think I want more tinkers here. Yo, Carnosaur. Big sub indeed. Tier 239 months. Thanks, man. Okay, that they're ramping up wood and stone here it makes me think that in the next area we're gonna get a large settlement finally uh, probably a pretty good goal to go for i think i'm gonna have ever think not ever think uh nightmander breeze clean up this and these two fights which may be kind of deadly, but uh, gotta give them a purpose. Okay, Bigly still has a lot of move. Big troop overview here. Okay, we have double mercenary quarters right now, and we also have Portalus making brutes. Okay, the workshop's already here. I'm just going to upgrade the tinkers that come out of it. Nymander. Grab the granary here and the orchard. I'm just going to defend here for right now. Never mind, there's more things to get. Okay, they're giving me a bunch of, um... Bunch of pluses here. Hmm. There's a lot of stuff in this area right now. Oh, wrong button. A beacon of power. Insignificant... Elemental Axe? 
they're both great is me is uh, how I'd put it. I want to check out our unit generation. How fast do we make? We're making dress very fast now. That's good. I think Bigly's just going to claim this mine. There were signs of dragons everywhere. No one had been spared. Fine. There's some dragons. I'm going to have someone else walk up this road and collect the various stuff here. The hero does not need to do that, or main hero even. Same with this. This is a different objective. Okay, large farmhouse. Here we go. Okay, never mind. Ooh. I'm a smidge worried I'm getting a little ahead of myself here, and that's okay. Looks like large settlement right here. Burning buildings, empty homes, the vengeance of Rana had come upon Barya. Right. Here we go. This is going to be a big settlement right here. A group of Harima were looking down on the burning ruins behind Bigly Sather Down. A brute raised an arm in greeting and approached. Are you here to save us? We've tried to fight back. We are. Who are you fighting? Dragons. They've returned and they hunt. They are filled with rage. They bring vengeance. Join me and we'll stop them. Okay, there's some weaker Harima. Another small settlement. Interesting. I don't think I'm going to regret uh, going forward here with Bigly. But I could be forcing ourselves into some story uh, elements we're not quite ready for yet. At least we have a save ready, if that's the case. Another one? Alright, listen here, dude. Murkoth. Yeah. How's that look for Bigly, though? Risky. Alright, fair. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to claim this settlement and then I'm going to claim this spire so we can teleport between and then I'll teleport back down here to intercept Murkoth. Oh, there's two heroes here. Whoa. Well, I kind of feel like what that's telling me is we're not going to be controlling uh, this side of the map, but on that note, how do I get out of here with Nymander? I guess we could claim a beacon and then teleport, uh, teleport out. Do a quick save here. You know, if I also simply just make it to a rally point, uh, we're going to be in a pretty good position. I know we're getting here early, for sure. Oh, here we go. This is another uh, beacon of power. Oh, this has Elder Dragons at it? Heck.
Hmm. This is a tough one. My gut's kind of telling me if I clear this, it's going to start like a. It's going to start some Rana events when this one gets claimed. Let me just do a quick load real fast. I want to see how close I can get to these dragons. If I can get through that uh, portal on this turn, that'd be nice. Like, basically, if Bigly can make it back to a rally point, we're probably going to be okay. Okay. Let's see if we can do both. I feel like the Barony of Loth is going to be the third one here. These guys are just too strong at the moment for us to face, so I think I'm going to have to bravely run away with Sir Everything, is just how it is. I'm going to run Nymander over here, and I'll just see what they do with their turn. Uh, Nymander is going to start running, or sorry, everything's going to start running north. He's just going to grab these objectives and things that Big Lee left behind. So he could progress further. Without a doubt, we're doing very good on money right now. Like, we've claimed a good portion of the map rather early. We have to now stabilize and then build an actual army with that. You should bow before us. If you do, we might let you live. Like, you let that town live. I said might. Once we've defeated you, I'll use the beacons to make sure history repeats itself. All dragons will fall. Whoever uses the beacons could die, and you seem frail. I must pay my debts, and this is the cost. Okay, that's some dragons. Okay, so the units that are here, here, and here are all going to be able to be hit by these dragons. So I want to put my uh, weaker units there. The ones that are kind of disposable. So that's going to be you. And... You, I suppose. I know, whoever's out front here is getting roasted. That's a fact. So the dragons can attack from one tile away, so the guy that lands here uh, can hit here and here as well, which is exactly why our seven is standing in that location. This is okay. I'm just gonna run it back. Maybe the steam piper gets hit for this decision, but it's my decision to make. 
I can also order some of these dragons if I want to. I think we can do better with our destruction spells. They're just so good right now. Defense 54. Lowers movement and initiative for hostiles within two hexes. All right, then. Yeah. My man got roasted. You know, all in all, that's pretty good. Okay, so we're killing one dragon with Ice Bolt. That's promising. I feel like it's worth him standing there taking the hit. What does Boiling Blood do? 44? Alright, he's going to step up and hit him with the tune. We got to get in here. They have uh, infinite retaliation, so. There we go. Zero to one. It's fine. Oh, I got one to two here. I think I'm going to go for the extra attack then at one to two. Nice. Stakes aren't going to do anything here. Okay, we can still get to Fireball here. We can hit the three dragons, I think, by fireballing this tile. Let's hold off on uh, doing anything there. This guy's going to do almost nothing. I'm going to go here. Didn't actually mean to attack him, but I certainly made that choice. Oh, hell yeah. Two, two, and two. Now we're cooking. Chain lightning looks good, but it's, uh, it's not right now. Gotta be a spell I can cast here that's gonna get him. Oh, here we go. If I just step up here and then cast knockback, get two retaliation attack. Okay, all in all, that went pretty good. I need to build a rally point here. What? Oh, man. Nah, really? A huge armor being bearing an ancient banner led this army. Indeed he did. Alright, um... 
I actually think I need to load here. Okay, maybe we can kill Murkoth. I don't know. Let's try. Worth a try. Blessed Bones, Legionnaires, Oathbound. Well, that isn't the end of the world. We do have pretty good stable stabilization versus that. Okay, so he sacrificed some of himself to make a different type of bone unit. I didn't use these in the Barony of Loth campaign last time. Interesting lad. Getting up here. Thirteen to seventeen, twenty one to twenty seven. So my main goal here is to remove the total amount of unit first, uh, meaning that I care about killing unit uh, troop types so that Murkoth is getting less magic overall. My top priority. my big guy. Okay, he's here to tank. That's his job. You know, it's actually turning out okay. This is a risky fight, but it's been managed. Okay, so 7 destruction, 10 chaos, 9 order right now. Hmm, probably gonna pacify this guy with our order. Let's do that for sure. Let's just remove this unit. Infinite retaliations on that guy. Yikes. All right, then. Just hit here. Chaos step this guy to hit the uh, the Legionnaires. I think Doggo can take care of that. I'm gonna. Oh, it's only one Chaos step. Okay. Never mind then. Oh, here we go. We can hit this one. Double retaliation, yikes. Not boiling blood. Where's the enraged one? Nice. Let's go aim here. 4 to 5, 4 to 5, 11 to 14. Ah, 
That's that's fair. Yip, 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 he said. Get yippy. All right, tough fight, but we won versus Murkoff. That's huge. Yo, nice Boxer drop. Glad you could be here, man. Enjoy your relaxation time after your ship. Nothing was left of the undead wielder. All that could be found was an empty armor. Colwell's fallen, Huma Rosewater missing in action. Okay, we didn't take over the Spire, which is kind of nice. Nymander's army is super dilapidated here. Maybe I just throw this army into the... Uh, the wielder that's converting here. Also, how many rounds? Converted in one round. So we have this round and next round. Okay, Bigly can get here and then back to the town before it's converted next time with a full army. So we're going to do that. Well, a full-er army, rather. Okay, we got double pupper stack. That's nice. Let's just get to a regular stack of those. All right, uh, Bigly's doing a biggin' right now. You know what would have been really good before that last fight? Had I known it was coming, we could have maybe gotten some human troop uh, improvements or uh, something. Let's grab the extra income here, too. Mission's going pretty good so far, Bokdrog. I feel like we're ahead on how fast we have... Um, acquired the things on this mission. We're on good pace at the moment. Okay, you gotta level up because you defeated Murkoth like a badass. Absolutely taxes here. Absolutely. Game does have online multiplayer, yes. But this is the campaign mode. Nice. Okay, let's chill right here for the moment. Which I guess he's still converting, so there's no big rush. So everything here is basically the cleanup guy. He is he's coming back through and you know, collecting all the stuff that Bigly left behind. Good way to go about it. There's a third purple hero? Okay. That's fine. They're going to dead end in here. So, uh... We're looking good. Oh, it's Baron Aldous of Loth. Fair enough. Well, Nymander's going to grab this. I'm also going to make a save here. It's not going to be the main. But I, think we're, I think we're stable now. I believe. Okay, threat level towards Big Leaf fair. Me like. I think Nymander is going to chill here and kind of just uh, patrol. Might pick up this fight and this fight with him and 
uh, than just hang out in this town. But for the moment, it's definitely Bigley's job to hook up this fight. The other option is to throw Nymander into this force, um, just basically diminishing the amount of units that are there. And once we do that, then... Could be pretty good. Yeah, I'd like to stop them from converting. That'd be best. I was thinking if we have two heroes to fight and they're both around that risky, then maybe sacrificing Nymander's uh, stuff here, it isn't the worst. Because, uh, you know, he can, he can respawn. And we can never purchase these unit types again. Tough choice. Okay, let's fight with Bigly. And then if it goes like kind of medium style, then we can have Nymander walk over here and fight Baron Aldous of Loth instead. But I think taking our best army into this fight is the best way to go, so we have the chance for the least amount of losses. The undead wielder that led this army halted her forces before approaching Bigly Satherdam. Step aside or join me. I seek to activate the beacons and likely improve them. You have a clearer mind than any undead I've ever met before. My mind is stronger. I recover faster. I knew it was going to happen, so I prepared. I always thought the oath was flawed and able to bring the person back. The oath is not flawed. Maybe the people swearing it were. No matter. Stand aside or die. Ready. Alright, well I'm going to hit him with some teleport puppers here is the plan. Okay, uh, manual battle time. Oh, we battling. Wish the pikes weren't going first, but here they are. I guess here's not a bad spot, because I can just hit right there. It does bring him into the deadly range of the necromancer, though. For that reason, I am going to go here. so good. Alright, the Harima is trapped in here a little bit. It's okay. I'm just gonna chill there. This guy, no chill though. He's a lower tier unit. I'm definitely willing just to sacrifice him out. Judgment, my big brutes. That's good. That's uh, kind of a waste of mana for him, really. Well, Bigly's going to have a really nice fireball here in a moment, I th think. Strength in essence, indeed. Alright, we're gonna hit it with the old uh upper chaos step. Nice.
zero to one, one to two, huh? Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and pacify the essentials here. The puppers have infinite retaliations. That's uh, pretty pretty abusable. How about no more necromancers? Nice. So good. Oof. Not only infinite retaliations, but they also retaliate first, so they attack before the enemy attack. Huge badass. Let's see here. Uh, can I cast the Phoenix? I can. I'm down. Oh. Ooh, dude. You don't have to do so much unit damage just because you're dying, man. Alright, overall that went pretty awesome. After the battle, no sign of Coral Lightbringer could be found, but her greatsword was found in one of the many piles of bones defeated. Get him, Bigly. Oh, man, look at this. Plus five view radius, plus one movement. Sign me up. Okay. Well... Gonna manage defenses here, and I'm gonna upgrade these uh, tinkerers. All right, I do believe I want Nymander to fight Baron Aldous of Loth. Yeah, spell damage power is the one I want, and this talisman as well. Make a save after that. Alright, so since these units that are bandits are never going to be replenished, really, because there's not going to be another bandit camp that we can activate, what I'd like to do is... manage these units in such a way where we're giving, giving him a pretty good advantage in the uh, upcoming fight. This hero is definitely weaker than our main hero. So I'd like him to win the fight, but also fix our troops up here. Do we have any other tier 1s? So he has all the tier 1s right now. Awesome. Let's toss him a 20 stack of musketeers here. I 21. Plus one max troop size. Okay, that's one. Cool. All right, now time for Everthink. Let's just do this real quick. Okay, we already got that. Hmm. 
Well, I once again feel like we're very far ahead on time here. Uh, certainly feels like we just defeated two heroes we maybe weren't quite supposed to. So, should be looking good. Where are regular pipers being generated right now? Right here. There we go. Hmm. I'm waffling right now. All right, can we make the Baron here? Not quite. Bet, uh... We can stop him, though. We'll block the road. All right, I'm just gonna have everything march up the road here. Collect the... Collect the things that we left behind previously. I'll take the gold here. We're not, like, flush at the moment. Not looking bad, though. That's right. Hit him with the bagpipe. Hit him. Alright. Bigly can definitely take out this fight. And why not? That's the one, John. That's the one. A baron of Arlean, robust and devout, led an army that was clearly sworn to Aurelia. Nymander Breeze, last I saw, you were both escaping the stout hearts. Have you considered my offer? You're the only noble hearted Barian I've met. Baron Aldous, and I see you're united with your empress, I must decline, for it seems I am a Barian through and through. Nobility and empires are not for me, so I must ask you to leave, or there will be blood between us. Aurelia only wants peace and prosperity for all her subjects. Won't you reconsider? My cat S'more is going ham in the background here. Yelling up a storm. Good job, buddy. My heart belongs to Baria, Aldous, and I'll fight to my last breath for my homeland. Alright, it's risky. They have Banes and Rats. You know, this looks scary. But I think I gotta say, worst case scenario here is that we severely cripple their army and then we're fighting with Big Lee into an easy fight. All right, I mean, I'm going to get to the high ground here. It's going to hurt. Oh, they have three Banes here. Yikes. Okay, so they're going to protect their Banes. I see that. All right, this is going to be okay, because I can move up, and then I can teleport next to them. Yes, if I Chaos Step to this location right here, I end up next to a Bane no matter what. I mean, we essentially just ate up their first turn there. That's good. These Banes are a super serious enemy type. 
Okay, we're gonna go for... Oh, we got him. Whoa, dude. That was a weird one. We're gonna pacify this guy. So we're gonna walk up and hit him here. Dang, looks like I should have brought him closer. Fair enough. Okay, four to five. Got ten destruction at the moment. Ice Bolt doesn't seem inefficient. Only kills two Banes, though. Hmm. Yeah, while this game is in the spirit of uh, Heroes of Might and Magic, it's also very distinct to itself. Okay, let's get onto the high ground here. Should still be a three. I'm gonna take him out. One less unit for Baron to get stuff from. We got 18 to 20 on that. Dang. 10 to 14. 10 to 14 here, too. Let's go 10 to 14 on this guy. Oh, it looks to me like we're going to win this fight, which is exciting. Twenty-eight to thirty-five, huh? Already in the back of the line. That's gonna kill him eventually. I'm gonna go clouded vision on him, so his his range is now really bad. How many rats do we kill with this? Seven? It's not enough. Oh, I goofed that. Heck. We clean this up with Nymander. Awesome. Take that, Baron. Three purple heroes appearing at once on the bottom of the map is pretty spicy. The Baron made a fighting retreat as he realized the battle was lost. Nine member Breeze watch, hoping he was the last he'd seen of Baron Aldous. Not a bad fighting force. Oh, hey, it's a bandit hideout. Gonna go, uh.
quick battle here. Oh, hell yeah. Only lost one musketeer. That's pretty miraculous, really. That portal's broken. Okay, we kept our spire active as well. Awesome. Let's just work our way back towards this waterfall and then into town. Ooh. Build something here, too. Maybe missed one thing here for a turn. I don't want to go fordless, but just make the, the bigger brutes. I'm not interested in the Sassanids. This is your two tanks. Stone pit. Okay. There was that new settlement I had that had stone pit here. Not it. Also now wondering if I want to do any of that on Bigly. I might just run Nymander up and take this fight and this fight and this fight. Alright, Bigly, hit the rally point real fast. Yeah, our unit pool is pretty dilapidated at the moment. All right, Nightmander is going to fight the Swamp Beast here. I mean, it's a simple attack now, though. I'm torn right now on taking these fights on Bigly or not. Bigly's next level is his key level, getting that next upgrade, though. So maybe I take all the fights on Bigly. Let's go Chaos 2. Take the fight, but I'm having Nymander pick up the goods here. Uh, it says simple here, but let's do, uh, let's do a quick battle and see what happens. I agree it shouldn't be too bad, but if I get caught out, it could be pretty nasty. Eh, I accept that. It's a lot of burrowers. I just say, on average, that fight is uh, pretty annoying. That's fair. There we go. Nymander can have those on the way back out. turn. I'm going to go ahead and save here. Still didn't build something here. My dang. I actually go for Bazaar? Let's get a Fortalist going. I'm gonna go bizarre for now. I feel like our unit production is pretty on point. 
So with this much stone and wood, I'm going to destroy one of these. And I'm just going to make a shop for more money right now. Maybe a Piper's Post. Bigly, time to hoof it, man. Let's claim this farmhouse, which we didn't do previously. Whoops. This will be simple. I'm going to do a quick battle. Should be a no-loss battle. Indeed. Fire, destruction, the Rana were coming. Okay. See your point there. Arlock, Rage of Rana. That's them. I don't think we're going over here yet. The closest spire to this is... Not a spire at all. The closest one is right... Here, which Nymander is basically already at. So this happened at round 25. This is definitely a scripted event that was uh, meant to happen here. All right, Bigly's just going to take this fight. I'm going to teleport down here. I'm going to hit the rally points, and then I'm just going to... I'm just going to march back and defend my lands with Bigly. And then we'll post up with everything in the north and Nymander here in the south while we recuperate some of our uh, points. Also, with that, I may have uh, Nymander pass troops on to Bigly. Probably a good idea. Sixteen dragons is not a small amount of dragons. Let's go. As Bigly sat down approached, the dragons rose to meet their challenger. These beacons are not for you. Ch Chara will wield them and punish all. Chara, is that another wielder? She would be your death, but we beat her do it. I. Get them bigly bigs. I do kind of want to step up, but then they'll 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 hit me real bad. All right, they're not making us this turn, so let's just kind of pass it. Good. Line him up. There you go.
going here but not moving. Play the bagpipes right in those dragons' faces. Take that. Uh, I'd really like to get Fireball. I don't know if that's working this round. I think we have it. Not sure I actually want to hit here. It's like if I if I don't kill one and then they just retaliate, we're gonna lose like twenty troops or more. Fireball is gonna be better than spell break. I'm almost certain. Double attack on Pike would probably be it. Okay, I'm gonna hit. We did kill one, nice. You know what, the losses weren't near as bad as I thought they were gonna be. Uh, you know, sorry little man. Sometimes that's just how it is. Okay, I want Puppers to attack one of these. Probably the one that has one. Okay, zero to one there. Let's kill him? Yes. Good. Part of me wants to wait, but part of me doesn't. I do kill one with that. It's good to know. So if we are killing one with that, I will move up here for three. I'm going to chaos step into the location. Oh, I didn't realize they had one range. That's really nice. Well, if, I, if I walk in here and hit there, I'm going to Deny the Harima the ability to hit. Okay, am I getting to... Yes, I am going to get to Fireball so I can kill two here. And to that note, I should probably not attack just yet. Yes, I should wait. Okay, I have Puppers left. Puppers can get the job done. Why did that cast that, dude? Okay, this is fine. Got him. Some troops have the ability to wait, John, but not all troops. The special ability of the troop if they do. A one. All right, Nymander's gonna grab the stuff here. We're going to meet up with old Big Lee, see what we can give him. Okay, no, I don't want bandits.
Okay. Not bad. Alright, Bigley's hitting at the rally point, and then we're just gonna just gonna beeline for our base. I think the the pupper is going to be especially effective versus the the rana if i can teleport them into their back ranks with their range which uh should be should be good with what we have i don't know looking at this i'd rather give up maybe the stack of steam pipers to pick up another stack of pikes this should certainly be good enough I'm going to give him the big Harima. And Bigley's going to buy the stack of 28 uppers. Bigly's got such crazy movement. Oh no, it's the wrong way. Bigly, please come back. All right, Bigly's going down here now. Uh, this Ron is definitely going to put some hurt on us. And that's just something we got to accept right now. All right, I'm going to buy out the pikes at least. I think I might just chill here for a few turns. Lush Meadows has surrendered to Loth and the Empire of Aurelia. Contract offered to escort civilians fleeing the area. Okay. Lush Meadows. Okay, one more stop at the old rally point. get back here as fast as we can, which won't be as fast as we want. I think two more turns or so, and we'll be ready to head north with Nightmander. I'm just going to park him in the Defend with Wielder right now after we grab these. Uh, right now, everything's done basically everything they can. I don't see any decent money objectives or anything up here to be pathing for. One thing we could do is we could uh, teleport everything down here and have Nightmander come up and clean this stuff up. I think that's probably actually a better way to spend our movement. And how we move on the map is everything in this game. Okay, they're converting our large settlement. The question becomes, are we going to get to our large settlement before it's converted? It looks like we are.
Okay, also our stone and stuff's out of control right now. Let's go ahead and sell this at least. I'm gonna buy a buy a Piper's post. Excuse me for just one sec, just a quick restroom break, and then we're going to continue this campaign here. I think once we stop this threat and take over this area of the swamp, we're going to be looking a lot better. Time will tell, though. Okay, be right back. All right, and back. Thank you for your patience during that brief one. What were we doing here? 
Well, we just lost the majority of our uh, unit resource. How many turns now? Two rounds. We're going to make it here before the arrow. It is risky versus bigly, which is just... Oh, man. Pod of Elder Dragons, Pod of Dragons, Estra. Going to be a tough fight. Nymander's got a job to do. Is thing upgraded yet? I made a bazaar, that's right. Not yet, then. Frickin' Murkoth again. Futile, it says. So true. What about for Bigly? How is this? Bear. Okay. Well, how about Nymander? Nymander's worthy. It means if we got fortified in the town, we could probably win with Nymander. Probably. Probably faster to go around than come back down. We do make it both ways. Guess if we're making it both ways, I'm going to go there. I'm going to have everything go to the right here and check if you can fix this portal. I don't think so, but maybe. Also make a quick save right here. In fact, I'm going to make a regular save. Dang, Duragon, 59 months already. One more for five years. That time go. This uh, this campaign has been nonstop, uh, just in enemies in your base the whole time. It's been really tough. Didn't mean to upgrade that. Sorry. Wasting resources. Uh, I'm gonna go for. Rest in. We're in on the strategy. Okay, we're gonna have a uh, Nymander hit up the rally point one more time, and we're gonna we're just gonna add more unit in. We're going to defend this town. Oh, yeah, we got this, too. I forgot. Cool. Chaos and Destruction 2. So it's probably the one I want multiple of. Let's put these guys in here. It's technically the same resource. And then we can split our troops into having uh, more Chaos and Destruction. Oh, man, Bigly's going to make it all the way over there in one swoop. What a lad. Our army can't get much better for Bigly. This is uh, pretty much our max, max army. All right, quick save time, and we are... Rolling out. Wonder if I can grab the oasis on the way. Eh, seems like a bit of a detour. Yeah, definitely wouldn't have made that. 
A massive Ethra marched out to meet with Bigly Sather down before the battle. Rana, this area is under my protection. You should take your freedom and live in the marshes. Humans have invaded our marsh and hunted Rana for generations to keep his slaves. You will not change. I know this. That's a sad outlook. Change is, a co is constant as life. We will change. It's already begun. These outposts will never conduct slave trade again. You are old. When you die, they will start again. I don't think they will. I hope they will learn and adapt. The marsh adapts, but I have only vengeance. Destruction magic, combat training, speed of winds, arcana magic, melee. So they don't have a uh, magic damage resistance, which is the main counter to our hero. Let's hit him with a manual here. Dude, they're getting right out there. I like these guys. Okay, that was rude. At least he attacked a unit that was able to counterattack him. Whoa, dude. My man is quite literally in my business right now. save my chaos step for the puppers just hit this elder dragon then with a bagpipe That's how the pros do it What hit me there? Oh, my frog. Okay, my bad. Missed that. I'm going to go ahead and reduce the vision here. Let's just go for it. We're in. We're winning this fight or we're in huge trouble on this map. Oh, I'm blocked in here? Heck. Heck. Okay, this is alright. I can still Chaos Step him. Past him. It's not the one I wanted, but it will hurt this dragon pretty bad. Oh, I just did it again. Heck. Okay, we're better this time. I can go here. Good. Pacified and blinded. Yeah, that's actually not a bad spot for the burrow to be, because it landed right next to the puppers. That could have been much worse. Yeah, I do have the chaos right now. The chaos step in, so let's move two. Oh, it's not quite. Getting there, I guess. Two to three, get him. Nice. 
It's pepperoni time. So puppers are so fantastic here because they have infinite retaliations. And they also retaliate first. Man, they really did not like the musketeers here. Fair. Fair. Okay, we won. Albeit barely here. Whew. Gloves of the Phoenix. The Phoenix is not a legend. I've called it to sword the skies and wreak havoc on my enemies. These gloves will aid you in calling it, but it'll drain your weakest troops to the point of death. Everything comes at a cost, right? Interesting. Those are kind of very specific. I don't want those on right now. The battle ended. Arlock could be seen fleeing south into the swamps. His forces defeated. His dragons destroyed. Here. Right now that I have done that, take a look at our research real fast. Can I get any human research done? Okay, this is only troop size. We need the other large building to do that. Understood. I'm gonna upgrade the economy. All right, we do have a, a direct line here to taking this settlement. I feel like right now we might not be prepared to do that. Might want to make one turn and let's bigly get some more stuff here. I don't know. Let's uh, let's stack these up. Okay, nice. I'm just going to see what's up. I'm going to move down here. Last time, three heroes appeared for for purple. So, like, I'm not convinced another hero is not going to come out of the swamp on the southeast there. One's up here. Bound by oath. Bound to her. You've returned from Death Wielder. Is there no end to this? No end, only duty. I am Murkoth, her chosen sword. I burn the tree mothers, I killed the dragons. Okay, well, one thing I see that's really nice here is we have uh, 
Well, he is going to have a lot of order magic and some destruction here. He has all melee units, and we're fortified inside of a building. So that does give us a pretty distinct advantage. Um, in our ability to blockade them. But yeah, that's a lot of rats for sure. Oh, please give me, like, Fireball here. That'd be so sweet. 80, 48 to 53. I'd prefer not to kill this unit now, because the skeleton can't make a move if I if I don't. Ah, what the heck. He already uses Retaliation. Yes. That's fair. That hurts a little bit. What am I going to do? Not kill stuff? I don't know about that. You know, I'm absolutely just going to toss these units in here. Maybe better keeping them for magic later, but uh, here we are. Gonna be as good of a time as any for Peppers to get in here. Gonna blockade here. Actually, no, I'll blockade with the ones. Alright, my gut's telling me next turn I'm gonna get a sick, nasty fireball. Seventy five to seventy six. Let's go. So close, man, to having that fireball. doing seven got 12 chaos as well boiling blood is not the worst now are we able to cast chain lightning later in this round so let's just take our lick here i'm in fact gonna pass my turn just to keep this unit alive one round longer use him as a tank here too ha, chain lightning is not good anymore son of a gun fireball though that'll get a job done three seven huh? spells were not as cool as one might have hoped this time around Reloading indeed. He's already pacified. Let's drop him down, though. Yeah, looks good. 
Let's say if we were inside this building, there was a 0% chance of us winning this fight. But thankfully we were. Two retaliations. I, mean, I don't really want to sacrifice a unit here. I don't think it's necessary. That's fair. All right, we defeated Murka. Yo, soft dude, thanks for seven months. Appreciate that continuation. Awesome combo too. As Murkoth was struck down, it was as the armor was suddenly empty and clattered to the ground. The wielder vanished, broken once more. All right, Nymander, grab your level here. Income plus one wood. Uh, movement on the wielder, too. I'm going to take the movement. All right, this seems like a great time to make an actual save. I'm gonna make this main now. I probably should build a rally point here, but uh, we'll see about that. Okay, celestial ore for destruction magic. Let's go. A good good use of these. You know, I'm going to take the 20 here, too. Plus three destruction essence. That is really good. Whoa, look at that. That's a lot. Okay, I do not want these gloves with the phoenix on. I get my troops killed. Pretty sweet, though. All right, I'm hoping I can just walk down here with Big Lee and capture this area. Rider statue. Portal's been destroyed. Fair enough. Undefended. Out of movement. Okay, I'm going to do a quick load then. My decision to hit that portal stopped me from being able to take the town this round. That's a rip. We convert, man. That's exactly what we need. Just a few turns to stabilize. Nice as this stuff looks over here. I don't need it right now. Uh, I'd like to get this, but we're just not there yet. We need to fight these and then take out the uh, flame to claim the spire. It looks like it'd be simple to do, but every time we've gotten close to that objective, something like this has happened. Uh, units have appeared to attack us, etc. Oh, this destruction spire is still claimed by purple. Let's not have that happen. Hello, overwhelming. All right, he's going to make the the town here. Blessed Bones Necromancers. This is a much higher tier unit. Dang, dude.
I'm getting the feeling that maybe, just maybe, they don't want you to have, uh, have everything on this map at once. Meaning, like... We're not going to be able to defend this left-hand objective. Ah, everything walked through the portal. Take a look at it, pulling tools from his belt. Let's take a look at them. Ah, yes, I just need to adjust the bindings. I'll replace the Arcana with Chaos here, and that should do it for a while at least. With some adjustments and a little tinkering, the portal flickered back to life. Indeed it did. That's this one. Nice. Hmm. I mean, I could definitely try. I feel like as long as we don't lose this as well, like, if we come back and defend this, losing this point right now is fine. It isn't awesome, but it could be worse. We can uh, accumulate more troops and build down here and then push back out on the purple faction. Potentially. I'm torn right now. I'd rather have the truce being generated on Bigly right now. In fact, I'm going to try to abandon here and go through the portal so I can meet up with Bigly and then we can have a bigger army to uh, deal with that. And I think somebody being permanently holed up here is also a very good idea. Okay. I'm going to end the turn there. If I could change this, I'd probably have... Uh, ever think or something go down to the small settlement instead, but that isn't the case here. Oh, heck. Let us deal with the Rana and go back to your island. Pity, you're not as intelligent as I'd hope, no matter. Alright, this is overwhelming. I'm gonna go for a quick battle here. I'm relatively certain we're just dead. It's fine. Yeah, they did get a lot of good gear there. We'll get it back. All right, they didn't actually overtake the town that round with that. Interesting. I could ever think down to this portal now. The portal was broken with some adjustments and some strengthening of bindings. It flickered back to life. Where's the blue portal? 
up here somewhere. Well, I guess the easiest way to figure out where the portal goes is to step through. Not with Big Lee. Oh, snap. Okay. A gaggle of Chaloon elders, but new large settlements. Okay, so they're now telling us to retreat from this location, which I agree with. Hmm. Really torn here. Let me do a quick load real fast. Yeah, if I can build Rally Point at the that next point, we're going to be in a really good spot. Let's see what the Mystic Hermit is offering for knowledge. Archery 1, okay. Another portal. There's so much teleportation on this map, holy crap. Also, Bigly not grabbing this movement beacon is a little bit unfortunate, but is what it is. Get through here, and we're going to... Ooh, this is spell power damage, permanent affix. We are going to claim their town here. Hello. Before we claim one of these gold mines, though. Oh, I don't know if we're going to be able to handle this just yet. We could also choose to raise this settlement and build it back. As an option, we could just raise and leave. Find out here shortly. Hmm. Maybe, maybe better is just passing like a pack of 30 dogs onto Everthink and trying to convert with him here rather than Bigly and have Bigly march south. We'll see what happens. Bird of Sages, Spawn of Ethra, Gaggle of Ravagers. Uh, I, maybe, maybe with uh, some good spell usage, this is possible. Portal wasn't functioning. Everything examined it closely, and after some adjustment, it sprung back to life. Where, where to? Awesome. This may not be uh, feasible, we'll find out. Arana, wielder, led this host. This must be the one who had taken control of the plateau. The one trying to use the beacons. Shira, dragon's blood. Human, the rider has come, signaling your downfall. Soon you will see only the Rana is at the very height of evolution, and then you will die. Unless you wish to surrender, go back to your swamps. I'll always protect Barya. No, the beacons will be mine, and then the healing can begin. Then you know what the beacons can do. Of course, that's why I'm here. They drain life from the land and can't be allowed to exist. Once the humans are gone, we will destroy the beacons. Can't let you do that. We need them to defend ourselves. So short-sighted. I'll not allow it. Oh, 
Okay. I'm going to put puppers on the ramparts here, because I think I can teleport down into their range, which will be how we can maybe win. And as far as these guys go, I'm going to head back here. And maybe I make them come up to us. Uh, regardless, we're at the two-hour mark here. I'm just going to stand up, stretch real quick, use the restroom, grab some water, and then we will head into this challenging fight. If we lose, we kind of have to load a little bit further back. Uh, again, I'm expanding very fast in this map, probably faster than we're uh, maybe supposed to. Um, if this doesn't work out, I'll pick a save point just a little bit further back and take a slightly different route. Probably chill for five to ten rounds and build up an actual army would be a good, uh, good idea. We have a very defensible point right now, and we can just kind of manage that. Okay, be back in just a minute for some more fun. All right, I'm back. Let's see what's going on with this guy here. Let's try manual battle. I'm I'm wholly unconvinced here that we're going to be able to kill this combat, but maybe, maybe. Oh, the Ethra go first. Yeah, shouldn't be up here, man. Okay, I have Fireball available. That's nice. Not the biggest kill amount, though. What I want to do is teleport Puppers in. Let's see how this plays. Yeah, I don't think we have enough unit power here, period, to kill this fight. 
Okay, let's load the game. Let's pick a spot a little bit further back. Not too much, though. I think about... Here looks good. There's eight minutes back. This is before Nymander died, too. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. Because we know everything's going to finish this portal. So let's uh, let's get everybody, get the team together, and then we can uh, go take care of it. Okay, so for the moment, everything is going to repair this portal, which does work. I guess to that end, Big Lee can definitely grab uh, the settlement as well. And then we'll meet up and combine forces before heading through the portal. If I combine uh, Big Lee's forces with Nymander's forces, I definitely can fend off that Rana. But we're going to have to forfeit uh, this town, no doubt. Okay, we have an unupgraded draft in somewhere. It's right here. I'm going to draft these and bring them down. I'm going to quick save right here. This has been a super action packed campaign. I mean, dang. Okay, I did it again. Same mistake, twice. Been awesome so far, Relic Killer. Uh, 60, 65 hours into all of the campaigns so far. The final mission of the final campaign. The Baryon. Just gonna convert here. Might even build a rally point before stepping through. What I'd like to do right now is uh, review my towns, make sure I'm having the stuff that I need. Like rally point here is definitely not needed at the moment. Build yet another dress then. I haven't needed to use the bazaar yet either. Could be maybe generating units instead. I think if I start generating much more units, we're going to be too low on cash. Seems likely. Making seven grand around though, it's quite a bit. Everything going through the portal. Gonna start walking down to this portal and this portal too.
we are bravely running away. Part of me wants to build a rally point right here and drop this shop. Or maybe even drop a Dreth Dim. Then I can just get to uh, giving Bigly troops faster. Nah, let's keep the shop rolling. We'll make a rally point down here. pretty good. Level 2 farm, level 2 shaman tent, which is dress here, and Chalian Sanctuary. We're going to do that at our next large settlement, Pinochle. I don't really want to drop the building I currently have for the other one. It's a good idea, though. We'd be three turns without our economy upgrades if we did that. Okay, I am going to sell here. I'm going to put a rally point down. This seems like it's going to be more of a key point. Unupgraded dress again somewhere. Okay, the question isn't where is unupgraded dress. We have that. It's where on the map they were created. I think it's right here. So this is the place we can train them back. There it is. Basically, anytime you have the upgraded building, you can um, trade up to the better unit. But on the rally point, you have to do that from the point the unit was created, because you can't upgrade them here in the other town. You only have access to the rally point. This is going to give Bigly a super legit army. All right, Bigly's going to grab the Mystic Hermit here. Hmm. Here, and then we're going to meet. We're going to meet Bigly with Nightmander. Plus one Celestial War. That's pretty good, dude. Let's give that up. Fifteen percent range resistance for the hero we're currently fighting sounds awesome. Also, upgrades here. Is there any merchant skilled things I can make here? Not at the moment. Of a weird one. Oh, it's because there's the one extra troop amount. 
on this land and spare. Uh, it's a Paul. You generally have set heroes, but you can resurrect a hero from any point or any town that you own. There are uh, penalties to buying back early. It costs more resources, but after I think five or six turns, you can recruit them freely again. But in these games, in my experience, you generally have one main hero and then uh, usually one side hero. And the third hero is mostly for collecting stuff. Save time. This is a much better version of our last save, actually, so let's go ahead and make it the main. Not Nymander. You mad lad. Alright, Nymander's gonna go back and grab this pylon for movement and then probably hit the rally point again. Okay, this is. 10% spell damage power. Um, I mean, this should be a gimme. I lost four horns on that. Fine. All right, we're going to go for the uh, conversion. We could also just go for a raise here and build it from the ground up, but converting an entire large settlement seems pretty awesome. Rana have six beacons right now. Noted. Uh, Felt Terror, the enemy factions are also taking turns, so you can't just stall. That just goes back left, which I'm sure I'll appreciate here in a minute. I think everything's mostly is going to march to his death here. We already got the obelisk? Fair. Eh, I can hit the oasis, I guess. Okay. Unexpected, but fair. Why is the other wielder is not back there yet? Lightmaner can visit the statue and stuff, I guess. So last time this happened, the Rana wielder walked up here real fast and took our settlement from us. This time, no such thing. All right, I'm destroying the factory here. And I'm going to build the, uh, the foundry. Get some research work in. Also, with six of eight spires claimed, I really kind of want to grab this.
I'm not going to quite make a loop there. Well, everything can hit up some knowledge and other objectives over here for now. No portals to repair. Ooh, plus five sword down here too. Okay, I'm going to go down here. So this becomes a very key area to defend. There's three spires right next to it. Bigly stats right now. 83 offense, 89 defense. Pretty good. We'll just collect stuff at the moment. I'm not seeing any other purple heroes. I think this might be the final... The final purple hero that's going to appear on the map. Shouldn't have sold that that turn. Oh, well. All right, bigly do what you, you bigly do. Okay, so now they can't teleport directly into our area. That's good. Honestly, pretty respectable army here. Risky still? Alright. Nightmaner's gonna hold down the town while Big Lee uh, takes care of purple. Also, research here. Go for the two buildings at a time. I think guard towers on this location specifically looks really good. Also, I was wondering where that other hero went. Like, they disappeared. Alright, everything needs to grab this beacon. Forces under the Stoutheart banner have been cited. The Tinker's Guild has an open contract for her head. I'll bet. Stoutheart's a jerk. This one get bigger? No, it's level three is the most. No fortresses yet. All right, one more thing for research here. I'm gonna go plus five max troop size for artificers. Oh, 
Okay. Bigly is um, quite imposing on the road here. I think it's also worth noting that with taking... Oh, I didn't take this beacon from them yet. <laughs> okay, as I say, worth noting that uh, with Bigly, uh, getting these three beacons were more or less safe. Yeah, here we go. Oh, they went all reversey here. Let's make sure I saw this right. I did. Uh, they came up here instead. In order to get them, we have to go up and around with Bigly, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, can Nymander make this in time? Okay. So they no longer have a teleportation route to entering to hit this town. This is the only entrance. This is a very good uh, choke point. I'm in fact going to make a save right here and make it main because I think we're in a very good line to uh, crush this momentarily. Alright, so if I just go up and around the road, then I can fight the Rana right here. I mean, surely there's things over here as well, but are they better than taking out that hero? I don't think so. Okay, on this one, I'm just going to raise the buildings down to diminish them. This also gets rid of their beast corral, which is very handy for us. Okay, so they have Murkoth and the other hero. I haven't seen Coral Lightbringer in a minute. Gotta be around. There's a beacon of power right here. If we claim this, we have eight of eight. This could actually probably win the map. It'd be a little bit shorter than the other campaigns, but honestly, not that surprising. Fight some dragons. Human wielders, you are all weak. Your frail bodies are meant to hold and harness essence, and yet I do just fine. If I apologize for Barga and put a stop to the slavers, would you go back to your swamp? Huh, <laughs> laughable, naive. Apologies mean nothing, power means everything. Fine, I will kill you and use the power of the beacons to destroy any who threaten Barga. You'll die. We all die, but it's the reason for our death that counts. 
All right, dragon's gonna be able to hit those. We want to move these back. I'm gonna put the archers up front. Now let's put the the flutes up front. Gonna be a toughie, they got a lot of movement. Okay, at least he walked up on him. That's nice for us. Honestly, as a starting point, this is pretty decent. the other dragon have seven movement 200 health hot no justice is not looking too bad at the moment i can do better though get one Almost got one there. That's tough. Okay, Puffer's going to go over here, and they're going to get wrecked pretty bad, but in return, we get infinite uh, retaliations. Okay, kills two and one. That's great. I'm going to attack this one. One, one to two. Nice. One to two. Awesome. Just part of this particular um, quest line, Pinochle. But it does tell you objectives that are happening on the map. All right, is this it? Eight beacons claimed? You will win within three rounds unless someone stops you, it says. I feel like this force is still good enough to take on the other hero. I believe. That defense on humans. Troop move speed. Some good upgrades. All right, quick save there too. Arana Wheeler led this house. Must be one of taking control of the plateau. Oh yeah, we already we already got this text. This is the mains. Red level risky is so much rain. Okay. I guess we'll see.
What's that spell that gives everybody mega minus here? Eight chaos needed to cast Tempest. That's the spell I need here. We have other units that give chaos, just the Artificer. Oh no, the Dire Dress do too. Alright. Frankly, very tempting just to step in there. But it's probably best to stay out of range. Though our pupper is going to get messed up here. Dang. These are the ones on this side. These guys don't have as good of shots. I'm going to cast the Clouded Vision on this guy. That's really good. We baited him up there. They cast Entangle? Alright. I'm in. Fireball coming up soon. Never ending chest of gold. Sounds pretty sweet, man. I want to teleport puppers in there. I'm going to run up here and bop this dragon. Let's go. No retaliations remain. ground. Oh, I'm not going to be able to cast that minus uh, ranged offense spell now. Whoops. Whoops, but fair. Oh, yeah, double 14s. Yes. Okay, he's entangled right now. That's definitely fair. Let's leave two movement again, and then we're going to teleport right here. There's not quite enough room to reach here, but it does put a lot of pressure on that unit for sure. Six to seven. Let's go we'll get blappened. Still entangled, okay. Oh, I bet higher level entangle entangles for multiple rounds. I didn't think about that. Eight, two. Save here. 11 to 15, that's the one. Let's go. Mm, stepping into this spot would have been better. There'd been no range attack. Follow up. Okay, I hit my own unit with that because it travels up to two tiles. I'd do it again. Rupture that. Let's go pacify on you too. Judgment. Hit him with the bugs.
That's fair. <laughs> okay. Minus 75 ranged offense, huh? I don't think yet. I think I'd rather just cast damaging spells here. Remove him. Rupture him down. Hit him with the clouded vision. All right, this pupper gets him. Why is it moving one at a time? Hey, the pike's got to do something. GG. Before the battle was over, T'Chara had retreated. This was not the last Bigly Sather down in the scene of her. Except for it probably is. Nightmander looked up at the burning flame of the beacon and sensed something. It was like a firing pin lining up. All of the beacons connecting and inviting him to use them. Project his power and essence, but this was not for him. Although Nymander longed to take Bigley's burden, he knew that the old man would see that as yet another debt to be paid. So he sent word to Bigley that all was ready. New objective, enter a beacon with Bigley Sather down. I... That's the one right here. Bigley stood outside the beacon, but as he got ready to enter, he suddenly heard a voice in his mind. Bigley Sather down. You've been marked by my crest. Empress Aurelia, I assume. Thanks to you, I am Aurelia Eternal now. Retrieving the crest has led my faithful to me, and I am now free. As a reward for your service, take my oath, and you be honored for eternity. I spit on your oath I will never serve. And yet, in a way, you already have. Then perhaps you'd serve better as the enemy of the people, the one who brought the dragons back, the one who made an enemy of Arleon, and the one who sent his friend to die. You have a wicked heart, and I'll be glad to use these beacons to blast your legion to bits. I will mourn your passing. You would make a worthy foe, something for people to hate. Instead, my sacrifice will be a rallying cry for Barra to stand against you. So you hope. Hope is a beautiful thing. With those final words, Bigly forced the Empress from his mind and turned once more towards the beacon. The steps of old Tinkersmith echoed as he made his way up to the top of the beacon. He only wished he would have had one more cup of tea with his dear friend Everything, where they didn't talk of war and politics, but only marveled at the simple wonders of the world. The flight of a desert hawk, the glitter of the sands under a harvest moon, and the peace that comes with time spent in loving company. Get him, Bigly. As Bigley stood at the top of the beacon, he felt as if the chaos inside him had calmed. He had made his choice, and whenever the danger, he would harness the beacons and use all his powers to bring down any and all who threatened Barya. As the beacons activated and their essence coursed through his body, he felt only joy and determination. He was free. Brave Sir Bigley. Sand in the desert lands, far beneath the blazing sun. Bigly faced the horse, both with pike and sword, realized what he had done as he learned what he can do. Well, he knew his day. things he's done 
Weight so heavy on the scale, he will pay the price. Pictured silk spools face, all he's done and led to this, he will set it right. With a sacrifice With a sacrifice Dang, Bigly, he done did it. Well, that was awesome. Got about 60, 65 hours in those four campaigns. There are still uh, like community campaigns, uh, multiplayer maps, modded maps, uh, et cetera, to check out. I think I'll be back to. Um, I'll be back to this game when they release some of the new content with the new uh, factions and other campaigns. Uh, really enjoyed the initial playthrough of this game, though. I mean, man, it was absolutely beautiful, uh, really fun. I'm certainly no veteran to Heroes of Might and Magic, but it was a fun experience, and uh, nothing but good things to say about this game. So, very happy more content is coming down the pike. Got two factions, a bunch of different campaign style missions, etc., in the next uh, couple years. Well, this game is officially 1.0 as of the 20th of last month. So good. I think one of my favorite things about the game is all these little pixel uh, animations that they did on uh, the various buildings and stuff. It was really top notch. Yeah, I agree, Wizard Blizzard. I liked uh, I liked Bigly as the main character. Did a really good job in the final campaign. I think fair to say if you enjoy the Heroes of Might and Magic series at all, this game's pretty much a must play. Curious to see what uh, the other factions will bring in in terms of troop diversification. I know they're going to do a rework of the undead faction, too. Oh, man. Yeah, thanking the cats here. That's what I'm talking about. Esteban and Pharaoh. The cats. Well, everybody, that's going to conclude our show today. It ended a little bit earlier than I thought the campaign was going to, but really happy we were able to conclude this. I wish I was more to play, honestly, but uh, I'm going to save a little bit for the next time uh, content releases in terms of community maps and maybe some conquest play. Uh, great 65 hours straight of this game. It was awesome. Uh, probably no stream tomorrow, but we'll be back on Friday almost certainly for uh, some more fun. Thanks for the great time. Wonderful company. Awesome conversation. We finished out the fourth and final campaign on Songs of Conquest. What a beautiful game. we we'll catch you on the flip side. Looking forward to it already. Until then, keep it dapper and be good to each other. Have a great one.